welcome to another new topic in my youtube channel professor lpt today's topic is glandular byproducts or pharmaceutical byproducts as you know we are discussing about the utilization of slaughterhouse byproducts all these topics are specifically designed as per the vci syllabus for the undergraduate veterinary students and also it will be useful for other students so today in this topic we will discuss about different glands and their weights how to collect and preserve these glands some of the important pharmaceutical products prepared from glands and other tissues and organs and then i will discuss about specific glands their active principles and their uses separately for each gland and finally we will discuss about some of the hormonal preparations some of the enzyme preparations and other biochemical preparations made from these different by products in this let us first understand the size of different glands so here we have presented it like how many gland is required to make it 1 kg in case of cattle and buffalo then pig and then sheep and goat so in case of pancreas it is 5 for cattle and buffalo 15 for pig and 40 for sheep for ovaries it is 100 125 and 1400 for thyroid 80 110 and 250 for parathyroid 2200 in pig it is very negligible and in sheep 3500 for pituitary it is 600 then pig 4000 and sheep 350 in case of adrenal it is 60 250 and 350 in bile it is 6 and then 55 in case of sheep and goat for testes it is 6 for cattle so this is the number which makes 1 kg weight this is just to get an idea about the size or weight of the glands from different animals now we will discuss about collection and preservation of glands so glands should be collected from healthy animals that means the animal must undergo anti mortem and post mortem inspection then only such glands can be used for pharmaceutical industry the glands should be excised from slaughtered animal within 30 minutes of slaughter because if it is delayed then it will be losing its activity or active principle the glands should be immediately chilled in metal containers without allowing in direct contact with the ice so the glands should not have direct contact with the ice rather they should be packed separately or individually fat and connective tissue surrounding the pre chilled gland is trimmed so outer fat tissues or other tissues connective tissues should be trimmed and removed at every stage contact of glands with water must be avoided because active principle may leach out with water so that is very important this is in continuation about collection and preservation of glands pack individual glands without leaving any air space so the glands which are initially chilled it should be packed separately individually either using small pouch of plastic or cotton cloth etc then clean glands are quickly frozen at minus 18 to minus 20 degree celsius in covered containers alternatively acetone dried powder of the glands may be prepared so this we are going to discuss separately how to prepare the acetone dried powder this is a good chemical preservation method for the glands and this is the best way of preserving the glands for a long time while retaining its biological activity the glands should never be put directly on dry ice or freezing mixture so this this dry ice or any freezing mixture or ice should not be directly in touch that will destroy the activity of the active principle like enzymes hormones etc here briefly we will discuss about the chemical preservation by using acid or we call it acetone dried powder of glands so collect the gland within 30 minutes of slaughter as we have discussed it should not be delayed then there will be autolysis and the active principle will get affected 
Now remove the connective tissue, blood vessels, adhering fat, etc. surrounding the gland. And then the whole gland should be immersed in three volumes of chilled acetone for three hours. Three volume means suppose if the gland weight is 500 gram, then we must use three times that is 1.5 liter of chilled acetone and put the gland there and leave it for three hours. Then next time cut into small pieces. The gland is cut into small pieces and again immerse into three volume of chilled acetone that is a fresh one for again another three hours. Then next time these pieces are further ground or minced into finer part and then again dipped or immersed in three volumes of chilled acetone. So this is three times kept in acetone. By this time all the water will be taken out by the acetone and the active solid materials or parts will become dry or free from moisture. Now these fine particles can be separated and dried and further it, they can be partially evaporated in the low temperature oven to remove the acetone and then we can grind and make the powder. So that makes acetone dried powder of some of the glands, not all. Now let us learn some of the pharmaceuticals prepared from different glands though we are going to discuss it, it again for in details. So here we will just wish to know some of the active principle which are prepared. From adrenal it is epinephrine is extracted from the adrenal medulla and adrenocortical extract from the adrenal cortex. From ovaries it is used as a source of estrogens and progesterone. Pancreas it is used for preparation of insulin and trypsin. Parathyroid. Parathormone or parathyroid hormone extract is used to prevent large scale muscular rigidity. Pituitary. It has got many hormones and from the anterior pituitary ACTH that is adrenocorticotropic hormone is extracted and many other hormones that we will discuss separately. Then testis, it's a good source of hyaluronidase. It's a very important enzyme for biochemical purpose. And thyroid, from thyroid we can extract the thyroxine and calcitonin. So all these pharmaceutical preparations have versatile use which can be prepared from different glands of the slaughterhouse animals. Here we will see some of the pharmaceuticals prepared from tissues and organs like blood, it's a source of albumin and amino acids which has got many use in the bio, as a biochemicals or in pharmaceuticals especially many important amino acids like lysines or sulfur containing amino acids which are very important in laboratory or research. Then bone, it's a very good source of calcium and phosphorus though it is mainly used for making the gelatin which we have already discussed. The intestine mainly used for making the casing but it is also used for making surgical sutures or cat guards, sometimes also used for musical strings. Then lungs, it is used for making the heparin which is an anticoagulant very commonly used. Then liver, liver extracts and bile extracts which can be used to make cortisone that is the bile is used whereas liver extract is commonly used for treating anemia or general uh, uh, toning up the health of the animals or human being. The spinal cord it's a source of cholesterol used to manufacture vitamin D and the stomach it is a source of renate that is the enzyme renin which is used for making cheese more, mainly from the cup stomach then mucin it is prepared from pigs and pepsin from also pigs. So these are some of the common pharmaceuticals prepared from other tissues and organs other than glands. Now we will discuss about the important glands. They are important active principles and different uses. The first one here is the adrenal gland. You can see the picture in the right side. These glands are at the top of the uh, kidney so sometimes they are called suprarenal glands so the active principle as you know it is the adrenaline and the uses are like instant relief in asthma resuscitating heart due to drowning and co-poisoning membrane 
as vasoconstrictor locally applied to congested mucous membrane and bleeding surfaces it also helps in stopping bleeding or as anticoagulant it is injected with local anesthetics for prolonged action so some of the local anesthetics their action will be prolonged by using the adrenaline along with it and also it is used in edison's disease so these are some of the important use of adrenaline extracted from adrenal gland now we will discuss about pancreas this is a very important organ as you know in the right side you can see the picture of a bovine pancreas the main active principle is insulin as you know a very important hormone related to diabetes and also there is another hormone glucagon which comes from alpha cells whereas insulin from beta cells so as you know it is a mixed gland and sometimes it is called islets of langerhans but pancreas secretes not only hormones many enzymes and so all these enzyme together can be prepared as pancreatin it's an extract of pancreas having different enzymes like trypsin chymotrypsin and amylase so these enzymes has got multiple use either therapeutic purpose or for many other laboratory purpose so uses are in diabetes mellitus that is the insulin then debilitating conditions that is different enzymes which can help in digestion and improve the health condition to produce hypoglycemic shock in mental disorder so in case of psychiatric cases in extreme cases they need to be reduce their mental activity which can be done by using this high dose of insulin and then pancreatic enzymes are also used in tanning process which i have discussed earlier in the leather processing the crude extract of pancreatic enzymes are used in baiting baiting is a step where the unwanted tissues or proteins are removed from the collagen network of the skin so here we will understand about the pituitary gland which is a very important gland for every species and it is also called as master gland which regulates many aspect of the physiology through different other glands so you can see here there are two part that is the anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary sometime there is a intermediate lobe that is called the pars intermedia the anterior pituitary this acth adenocorticotropic hormone which regulates the secretion of adrenal cortex that is over the kidney suprarenal glands and then gh growth hormone which plays important role for the growth of muscle and bones MSH melanocyte stimulating hormone which has a connection with the skin pigment formation melanin and that helps in the color then TSH thyroid stimulating hormone that acts on the thyroid gland and controls the secretion of thyroxin then there is gonadotropins that is the sex hormone control through testis and ovary in male and female in case of male follicle stimulating hormone and also it acts on the ovary and the luteinizing hormone has a role in the female during the uh, ovulation and after that and then there is prolactin which plays important role for milk secretion and then posterior pituitary there is oxytocin which plays important role milk secretion parturition and many other things and then adh or vasopressin anti diuretic hormone this plays important role in water and mineral metabolism and also sometime it is useful for many other cases so we will see some more details about the use of these hormones extracted from the pituitary now we will discuss about the pituitary gland which is a very important gland in every animal and it is also called as master gland and uh, some of the important active principle as you know there is a anterior lobe and a posterior lobe in fact there is a intermediate lobe also in the anterior lobe there are growth hormone most important then follicle stimulating hormone fsh then adenocorticotropic hormone acth which regulates the function of adrenal gland and then melanocyte stimulating hormone which plays important role in skin color and melanin production etc and then posterior pituitary lobe which produces important hormone like oxytocin and vasopressin they play important role in the mineral and water metabolism and sometime we can prepare the crude extract of the entire pituitary gland sometime it is called pituitrine so here are the uses of pituitary gland 
for diuresis in diabetes insipidus. So sometime it is a reverse condition here there will be too many too much urine production that time we can use the anti-diuretic hormone prepared from the post pituitary gland then controlling hemorrhages after childbirth and surgery. So this is again a important use for the post pituitary extract then to induce labor the oxytocin is used for uh, to induce the labor and then to stimulate intestine after operation and paralytic ileus so sometimes this is an important use in asthmatic attacks in hypoglycemia after insulin overdose so these are different use of the pituitary hormones here we will see about the gonads or sex gland hormones the active principle in case of male it is testosterone and androsterone and in case of female it is estradiol, estrone, estriol and progesterone the uses are in case of female hormones have therapeutic use and in case of male conditions like hypogonadism, cryptogonadism, angina pectoris menorrhagia this menorrhagia in case of female this testosterone hormone is used in case of stomach glands as you know in the true stomach that is in case of animals it is abomasum it has got large number of glands and they are generally different kind of glands that is ductless glands and they produce different kind of enzymes and acids most common is the renate or renin another is pepsin as we have discussed earlier, the renin or renate is used for cuddling of milk or in the preparation of cheese. Now we will see about gallbladder. The bile present in gallbladder is very useful. It has got active principle like bile acids, bile pigments, then fatty acids, phospholipids, proteins, cholesterol and other minor components. The use of this gallbladder like bile is used to increase the secretory activity of the liver. So sometime people will have the poor liver function in case of human being. So that time this bile can be used for improving the function of liver. The cortisone extracted from pig bile used as anti-inflammatory agent. In case of human being it can be used and then dehydrocholic acid that is the bile acid there are several bile acid dehydrocholic acid which is a oxidized form of cholic acid that can stimulate the bile flow and it is used in treatment of indigestion constipation or bile duct disorders and also it is useful in fat digestion disorders so these are some of the important use of bile in case of human therapeutics or as a pharmaceutical now we will discuss about the liver as you know liver is the largest gland in every animal or human being the main active principle like many B vitamins especially B12, B6 and many enzymes many other factors or other uh, unknown factors which has important role in the physiology even cholesterol hormones etc synthesis happens so that's why from liver generally a extract is prepared and which is used for many conditions or health disorders some of the uses are like treatment of anemia or in habitual anemia in case of spastic dysmenorrhea or in secondary amenorrhea so these are the disorders related to menstruation in case of ladies then in functional uterine bleeding and in cystic mastitis this can be used liver extracts and also it can be used in premenstrual tension. So these are some of the common use for use of the liver extract. Next important gland is thyroid. As you know thyroid is a very important gland. The active principle is thyroxine which plays a very important role in controlling the metabolism. And this thyroxine can be used in case of myxedema and cretinism. And in case of menstrual disturbances, sterility and abortion, psoriasis, chronic fatigue, unknown anemia and rheumatism. Then another important gland is parathyroid which remains 
in small beads over the thyroid gland four small beads you can see in the picture below the active principle is parathormone it has a very important role in mineral metabolism especially in the calcium balance so this is used mostly in case of titani or in case of uh, to increase the rate of calcium excretion so these are the some of the use of thyroid and parathyroid here we will see a list of common pharmaceutical preparations which i have already mentioned earlier that is liver extract which is commonly used in pernicious anemia and secondary anemia then bilirubin which is used for liver function test then dehydrocholic acid it is used for promotion of bile flow in certain diseases of the liver gallbladder and bile passages then ox bile to aid in fat digestion and in the treatment of certain gallbladder disorders then bile salts to promote bile flow and fat absorption used in treatment of gallbladder disturbances here is a list of hormonal preparations made from the glands from the slaughter houses that is adenocorticotropic factor or acth sometime from anterior pituitary it is used for stimulation of adrenal cortex gonadotropic factor from anterior pituitary in certain instances of genital underdevelopment it is used then growth hormone from anterior pituitary to promote body growth and development and growth of bones etc then lactogenic factor or prolactin from anterior pituitary it promotes in lactation then parathyroid preparations to regulate the calcium levels in blood as in titani after removal of parathyroid glands insulin as i have already told from the pancreas it is used for diabetes mellitus epinephrine from the adrenal gland used in the treatment of many allergic conditions such as asthma urticaria or to raise the blood pressure or in certain heart conditions here is a list of enzymes preparation from the glands catalase most common in biochemical analysis and research pancreatin to help in digestion and to suppress the gas formation chymotrypsin for protein digestion and digestive disturbances pepsin aids in protein digestion diastase aids in starch digestion lipase to aid in fat digestion and lysozyme as a antibiotic so these are some of the common enzymes which are prepared from the glands here is a list of miscellaneous other preparations from glands and tissues like blood derivatives particularly bovine plasma portion fraction 1 which is used in treatment of hemophilia then crystallized albumin it is used in plasma substitutes then adenosine triphosphate used in experimental biochemistry or biochemical research or laboratory then anti hemorrhagic factor in excessive menstruation it, they are used then b complex particularly in anemia or in b complex deficiency mucin used in peptic ulcer then lard in benzoinated form which is used as a ointment base for many pharmaceutical preparations then cholesterol that is the starting material for many hormones to synthesize then it is also a raw material for hormone synthesis so dietary cholesterol is very important then red bone marrow extract this promotes the blood formation in cases of anemia then gelatin it is used as a plasma substitute also used as a food to combat certain forms of muscle weakness so these are some of the miscellaneous preparations made from glands and tissues for application in human health or pharmaceuticals here it is to explain the utilization and processing of different by products for pharmaceuticals or other chemical processing so all these things separately i am going to discuss about the uh, for the pg courses like separation of insulin or preparation of some specific enzymes or hormones or preparation and purification of insulin or other uh, hormones or different specific enzymes or sometime preparation of peptone so there are several specific process this is just giving an idea about the processing flow for different such products
so here it is again specifically to show the preparation of different pharmaceutical enzymes and their synthesis and their use in the therapy and different other pharmaceutical preparations which we can discuss separately in details for the specific topic for postgraduate students now we are at the end of today's lecture let me summarize so today we have discussed about the utilization of glandular byproducts or as a pharmaceutical byproducts we have discussed about important glands and their weights and then about their collection and preservation and then we have discussed some of the common pharmaceuticals prepared from glands and other tissues and then specifically we have discussed for each glands and their active principle and their uses and finally we have discussed a list of pharmaceutical preparations or hormones or a list of enzymes and so many other a miscellaneous group of products which are prepared for multipurpose either laboratory or research or therapeutic so this is briefly about the utilization of glands and hope it will be useful and you need to study details from the books or my lecture notes thank you